Mary, I, I didn't hear you come in. Have an accident? No, thank you, sister. We just had one. Is something wrong, sister? Well, I wanted you to be the first to know. The orphanage is in terrible trouble. What kind of trouble? I mean, is it something I can help you with? Oh, I only wish it were that simple, Mr. Raintree. But unfortunately, we need money. As you know, our mutual neighbor, Mr. Fields, holds the mortgage on the orphanage property. And since we can no longer make the payments, he's asked us to leave by the end of next week. I guess he wants to own the entire valley. He's got my mortgage, too. He's already told me that if I'm even as much as one day late, he's going foreclose. Matter of fact, I'm a little worried about this month myself. Is there something else I can do? Well, make this coming Sunday very special for the children. You've always been so kind and so wonderful to them in the past. I, I only hope they'll remember your kindness. Do the best I can, sister. Oh, I knew we could count on you again, Mr. Aintree. And God bless you. Oh, I must get back to the children. I'm playing shortstop this afternoon. <laughs> Thank you, Sister Mary. Could be, Sheriff. But how we know for sure? Call in the car. Call in the car. Where are you? Well, goodness, Sheriff, if you're just sitting there listening, the least you can do with that to me. If you're not gonna answer, I'm going Now, home. what about the fellow we're looking for? Well, he's been spotted two and a half miles south of Lemon Steelbox. I was told he's just lying in the middle of the road trying to ride right a hitch. That's our man, Billy. Let's go get him. All right, on your feet, hippie. Yeah, on your feet. I bet he's one of them smokers. I can tell by the little beady eyes. Hey, what's happening, brothers? How come you ain't running? I don't know. How come you ain't running? My feet hurt. Besides, what'd I do? What'd you do? I don't know. What'd you do, boy? When? Wait a minute. If he don't know what he did, and we don't know what he did, how come we arresting him? He must have done something. That's why we're taking him in. 
Uh, Billy, put him in the car and put that thing away before you wind up shooting me, will you? Sheriff Dodd, who's this? Forget it, Sheriff. Is that you, Cloud Rain 3? No, Sheriff, it ain't me. Well, it did it again. Fester, it's no time to play with the toys now. The Sheriff is coming. He is? Uh-huh. I said the sheriff is coming. But, Mr. Claude, I... <laughs> Golly gee, Mr. Claude, look at that little guy. He ain't never done that before. <laughs> Fester, huh? it's upside down. radio back on. I don't know what you're talking about, Sheriff. Yeah, you know that burn well what I'm talking about. Don't he, Fester? Oh, he sure does, Sheriff. Uh, he knows all about it. Oops. Fester. I wish you had the gadget this time, pal. <laughs> Oops, I did it again. What is all this stuff? Just a bunch of harmless toys, Sheriff. You know, kids stuff. Oh, good. It's harmless, eh? Huh? What's that? Sheriff, you know I didn't get a chance to thank you for the lift you gave me. Oh, well, now that's perfectly all right, Miss Billy. That's what good sheriffs are for. Uh, say, y'all have to excuse me. I got some sheriff and business to attend to. <laughs> hey, is it working, Billy? This work. If we were married, these things would never happen. You're right. If we was married, it probably would have blown up in my face. Who said you could play with one of my toys? Hey, man. That's what toys are for, aren't they? I guess you're right. Where'd you come from? Who are you talking to, Claude? I don't know. Where'd I come from, man? <laughs> oh, wow. Where'd the birds come from? Oh, for that matter, the trees and the flowers. Well, that's a heavy question, man. Or I could give you an answer, I'd have to think about it. 
I didn't see him come in here, did you? Me neither. You see, there's a sociological war going out there, and it's ugly. So I guess I go where nature is, where things are the way they should be, and where beauty is still beautiful, and where clean is without materialistic soot. Now, this is an interesting object of nothingness. Yet it's pure, man, and it's clean, and it's untouched. You sure do talk funny. Yeah. Hey, what do you do to all these, huh? Oh, once a month I invite all the kids from the Clover Grove Orphanage to come by and I give each one of them a toy. Orphans, huh? Mm hmm All alone in the world except for Sister Mary. I figure it's the least I could do. <laughs> I can dig it, man. I'm an orphan myself. And you think I'm doing the right thing? Oh, yeah, man. You're doing the right thing. The world needs people like you. Hey, tell me something. You know, I like to fix things, too, you know? So, like, tell me, how do you make these legs go forward and backward like that? Come on over to my bench. What's wrong, Sheriff? He's gone. I forgot about him. What are you talking about? I ain't got nothing all day, Sheriff. He done run away, Billy. Who are you talking about? That city slicker fella, Billy. That hippie's done gone. Sure enough. You right. I bet he ran off while we was eating. What are we going to do? I don't know. We ain't ever lost a prisoner before, Billy. Go get it. Yeah. Esther, why do men talk so much? Huh? Why do men talk so much? Millie! Well, I don't know, Miss Millie. I always thought that women did all the talking. Keep my daughter Millie out this late at night. This late? Almost 5.30. Anything <laughs> that least you could do, Claude, is to marry her. I'm Fester, you old goat. Fester? <sighs> well, well, So she couldn't get the other young fool, so she's gone after the dummy. What's your intention, boy? Father! You keep out of this, Millie! I want to find out whether or not he's going to marry you. Yep, I'm willing. Master, I'll do no such thing. Millie, you stop this hanky panky. Go over there and get your horse. Go ahead, get your horse. Why, you ought to be ashamed of yourself, you. Come on, Millie. Son of a gun, I almost had me a wife. <laughs> before you get into more trouble. What'd I do now? I don't know. What'd you do? I wonder if I got engaged. <laughs> Fester, why don't you call it a day? I think I'll call it a day, Mr. Claude. Mm. What do you think of that? I'm almost finished with it. Hey, man, you really gonna build one of these? Sure, why not? Yeah, why not? Do you know how to build this? I don't know, but what's the difference? Yeah, what's the difference? You want to see what I've done on it so far? Well, you better believe it. Hold it right there! We got you. Yeah, we got you! 
Now, why did you run away, boy? Yeah, how come? I didn't, man. You got it all wrong. Oh, what did he say? He said he didn't run away. That's what I thought he said. Well, how did you get away? Yeah, how? I walked and I crawled. Walked and crawled? He probably did, that son of a gun, and that ain't fair. All right, boy, we're gonna take you in, so don't give us no trouble. Anything you say, man. What did he do? What did he do? That is none of your affair, Claude Raintree. Now, this is sheriff in business, so you just keep out of it, you hear? All right. Come on, we're taking you in, and don't you try to run away again. Walk and crawl, Sheriff. Walk and crawl. Oh, will you shut up and just put him in the car? And don't you say nothing, Claude Raintree. You're in enough trouble already. What'd I do? doing here? Are you my daddy? Zeke, I'm not your daddy. Not even for pretend? Okay, just for pretend. Uh, won't Sister Mary miss you? You wouldn't send me back, will you? You don't want her to worry now, do you? No, but can't I stay until they come? Well, Zeke, they're not coming out till Sunday. It's only three days from now. Can I please stay? Well, I'll have to call Sister Mary and see if it's all right. What if she says no? Then I'll have to take you back home. That's not home to me, Mr. Aintree. This is more like home to me. Yeah, why don't you play with this little fella while I call Sister Mary? I don't want to go back, Mr. Claude. We don't want her to worry either, do we now? No. I guess you should call her. Good idea. Will you ask real nice like? Oh, I'll be real nice. Don't forget to say please. <laughs> I won't. I'll be real nice and I'll say please. Okay, thank you, Mr. Claude. You want to come with me? Okay. Make a mistake. Yeah, Sister Mary, please. Sister Mary, Claude Raintree. That's what I'm calling about. Yeah, you don't have to worry. He's right here with me. Uh, what I want to know, sister, is uh, would it be all right if he stayed out here with me till Sunday to kind of help me out? Oh, he won't be no trouble. Please? Well, he could make up that one day of school, couldn't he? Please? Oh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> then he can stay now. Yeah, you have a good evening, too, sister. Nothing to it. You can stay. Yippee! Come on. Don't forget to say your prayers now, Zeke. Tomorrow I'll show you some of my new things, OK? Our Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for Sister Mary not being mad. Thank you for my pretend daddy, Mr. Claude. Please watch, o watch over everybody, the animals, too. Amen. Good night, Mr. Claude. Night, Zeke. Just a dreamer, a dreamer. 
She pulled us out of this time. That bird, Mr. Clun, there you go. You just went and did it again. What was that? Must be one of them new foreign jobs. Yeah. Let's go get it. It's him again. Ooh, it's that called Rain Tree. And he's got us this time. <laughs> Will you shut your mouth? <coughs> yeah, sure. But would you tell me what or who was driving our patrol car? Claude Raintree, that's who. Let's go get it. Not on your life. I wouldn't go after that nut for all the money in the world. Oh, shut. He broke the law, didn't he? That is sheriff's business, not the law. <laughs> he ain't break no law. Dead. Bernard, I can't arrest him for taking control of my car. What would people think? <laughs> and sit up! 
Morning, Miss Millie. Miss Maud. Oh, I think he's out. I think he's out in the field. Okay, thank you. Sure makes you feel good to see a kid have fun with something you made. That's a new one, ain't it? Mm-hmm. I got lots of new things you ain't seen yet. I'll show you some of them in a minute. Hey, I'll even let you try one, okay? Oh, if you think I should. But does it work? Of course it works. Everything I build works, don't it? Well, most everything. Well, look at that remote car. It works, don't it? Well, of course, but... There are no buts. Perfection is what I go after. Perfection's what I've achieved. Look at that little devil go. Well? Well? Huh? Where is he? Who? You know who? No, but I might if you'd tell me. <laughs> You're idiots. A whole bunch of rain tree, rain tree. Where is Claude Raintree? Oh, him. Uh, well, he's out uh, in the field playing with one of his toys, I guess. What, do you want him? I don't believe this. I don't believe it. It's not real. Maybe I'm losing my mind. Well, if you do, Mr. Chad, and I find it, I'll tell you, I'll bring it over to you. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Millie, would you like to try this? Sure. Yeah. All we do is turn that on. Put a little trigger down there. <laughs> Show how. Hi, Chad. Hi, Chad. First my lights start blinking, then they go out and I can't see. And then I bump my head, and all you gotta do is stand there and say, Hi, Chad. What are you trying to do, kill me? Hi, mister, would you like to try this? I ain't got time for that kind of nonsense, kid. Well, can't you ever be nice? A rich man hasn't got time to be nice. Otherwise, he wouldn't stay rich. Don't you ever have any fun? Yeah, I have fun. But I don't have fun climbing up that hill chasing this idiot. Yeah, I have fun. I have fun collecting money from people. And when they don't get it up, I take their land. And soon I'll own the orphanage and the farm this entire valley. You don't own it yet. Oh, but I will. And don't forget your mortgage payment is due next Monday. And no grace period, Rain Tree. Either you get up the money or I put you out. What do you want, kid? You're mean. Yeah, I know, but look what I have. What do you have? Almost all the land in this valley. Yeah, but you ain't got one of these. There's a silly thing sometimes. No wonder you're a failure, Raintree. He ain't no failure. He'll always be a failure. He'll be poor all his life. Well, money doesn't always make you a rich man, Mr. Fields. And I suppose this dumb kid stuff will. Well, he's richer now than you'll ever be. Yeah, well, let me tell you something, Raintree. Money is the answer to everything. Money itself won't make you happy, Chet. Because you ain't a happy man. Well, genius, what else? Oh, stick around. I'm going to show my latest invention. Well, you'll have to show me. <laughs> I never tried this sort of thing before.
Ah, uh, you all right, Millie? Yeah. Boy, you can sure drive, Miss Millie. <laughs> well, genius, what else do you have? Well, my toys, I guess. And they do work. Anybody can work them, even you. I must have forgot to tell you something. Yeah. Yeah, well, you'll have to show me. Oh, I, oh. Ooh, that little buggy sure does work. It's just like a tank. Well, I suppose I'm going to have to fix that dad burned barn door that Miss Millie just smashed. Let's see. Four times this month. I guess I better get started. Come on, Zeke, give me a hand. That's neat. I really like this one. Yeah, me too. Oh, Claude, that's wonderful. That's a big deal. Oh, no. No, I, I was uh, I was just writing down the uh, location of this lovely farm in the hopes that it was uh, for sale. Is it? Nope. It's never been for sale either. And besides, you didn't want to buy it anyway, did you? Oh, uh, uh, well, uh, no, not exactly. Shame, shame on you. You told Fester a lie. Shame, shame. Well, I'm strange. How strange? Yeah. No, 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 my name is Charlie Strange. Oh, well, my name is Fester, bud. Fester McLong. Oh, how to do? I don't. Yeah. Besides, you ain't explained to me what you're doing up here. Well, uh, uh, my, my, my car uh, broke down. Oh, yeah, well, I know about that. See, my trick me, it's always... Go on. Well, it, it was, it was, it was uh, kind of uh, mysterious. The engine stopped just like somebody had sh uh, shut it off. And I uh, uh, walked up the path and uh, saw the uh, mailbox, and uh, here I am. Here you are, all right. What you doing? Are you spying on Mr. Claude? Oh, well, not, not really. Uh... Well, you just come along with Fester, and you explain it to Mr. Claude. What's that supposed to do? Blow up? Haven't you got anything that, uh, that really does something? He's being mean again, Claude. Yeah, I know. I have a... I got some airplanes. Airplanes. That's a big deal. You can buy those in a drugstore. Not like these. Let me show you. And what's supposed to make that plane different from all the others? Because anyone, that is, anyone with the sense of a cow, can work one. Yeah. Let me show you. <laughs> can I try it? Zeke, if I can't do it, you sure can.
Mr. Claude. Um, I found this guy, and he was up spying on the... Hi, I'm Claude Raintree. Uh, Charlie Strange. Mr. Strange, would you do me a favor? Would you see if you could fly one of my airplanes? Yeah. Just turn it on a point right at. But, Mr. Claude, wait a minute. Claude, have you asked Millie to marry you yet? Uh, no, sir. But I'm thinking about it all the time. Thinking about it, thinking about it. Do you think you could fly an airplane? <laughs> I'd fly an airplane. Why, I helped Wilbur and Orville put theirs together. <laughs> Watch this. What you said? Huh? Oh, I was only kidding. What about killing yourself or marrying me? I killing myself, of course. Well, what about the other? Damn it, do we have to talk about it now? Yes, Claude Rangy, right now, or I'll never talk to you again. Right out of here in front of everybody? Well, come with me. Uh. <laughs> hey, look at mine go. No, well, look at mine, Jefferson. Look out, don't, don't make him crash, you darn fool. Hey, Vesta, hmm? how come you got holes in both sides of your barn? You wouldn't believe it, Jefferson. Well, try me. Can we sit down first? It's gonna be a long one, eh? All right, watch the planes. Okay. <laughs> Jefferson! What happened, what happened? My trick knee went out. What's wrong, Claude? I don't know. Nothing to guess. But don't you love me anymore? Of course you do. Well, then when are we going to get married? Is that all you ever think about is getting married? Well, don't you know how long we've been going together? A while, I guess. A while? Twelve years, Claude Rangery. Count them, twelve years. And I'll tell you one thing, it won't be thirteen. I'm sorry. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. You don't love me anymore. I've always loved you. I might as well marry the sheriff, even if he is dumb. Well, you go right ahead and marry him. I will not. Well, don't you threaten me, Millie Swickle. I'll threaten you if I want to. No, you won't, because I refuse to listen to you. Hey, Fester. Huh? You going to fix that hole in the barn door? Yep. Would you like a little help? Well, like I always say, Jefferson, two heads in the hand are better than one in the bush. I ought to smack you right in the mouth for that. <laughs> <laughs> OK, all we got to do is get to our feet. If we can. Wait a minute. Jefferson, 
could you help me up my trick knee? Oh, you and your dust darn knee. Wait. Wait a minute, hold it. No, uh, see, uh, what's your plane? What's your plane? Oh, what's the matter? Well, you touched my knee, Jefferson. I'm sorry, I'm trying to... I, I, I can't get well, up. I can't. How do you like that little smart aleck? Pick me up just like that. Well, why won't you marry me, Claude? Look, Millie, I raise a few cows and I got a big mortgage. No one who raises a few cows with a big mortgage can afford a wife. I knew it, you don't love me. That has nothing to do with it. Well, then you're afraid. Well, I don't care how much money you have, Claude. Don't you understand that? Millie, I ain't got nothing. The money I make from the cows goes into paying the mortgage, and what little there is left over goes into making toys. Toys for kids who'd never see a toy if someone didn't make it for them. Why don't you sell some of the things you make? Sell my inventions? Are you a crazy woman? Who we'll buy? Besides, that's not why I make them. I make them. Oh, look, Millie. My toys are good enough for kids that don't have to pay for them, but who'd we'll buy my stuff anyhow? Does that mean you're never going to marry me, Claude? Never? Oh, no, Millie. Old man Simpson's going to buy five cows for me this month. And with that money, I'll be able to make my mortgage payment and, and have a little left over to buy some gadgets for some toys and, and even have some to put aside. But I promise you, if you wait for me, I'll make you the happiest woman you ever did. Wait? I won't wait for you, Claude Raintree. I'm tired of waiting. Do you understand that? Well, it ain't going to take that long. You told me that 12 years ago and every year since then. Well, you can have your cows and your toys because I don't want you anymore. I beg your pardon. Oh, sorry. I uh, probably missed my broker by horsing around like this, but uh, what are you doing here? Uh, my, my car broke down. Oh, yeah, well, come on, I'll give you a lift. Oh, all right. Uh, hey, kid. Here, hold this. Sure, but did you have fun? Well, I wasted a lot of time, if that's what you mean, fun. That's all you people think about is having fun when you should be thinking about making money. Come on. Even, and don't forget Monday. And don't be late. Look at these toys. You mean all that junk? Someday junk? These are the greatest toys I've ever seen. Did you make them? Yep. Why? What do you do with them? I give them away. Either you don't know what you've got or you're just plain crazy. He's just plain crazy. I don't think I'm either. And if you're really interested, why don't you come back on Sunday and then you tell me if you think I'm crazy. Well, you, you can just count on that. Do we really have to leave? Yeah, come on, let's get out of here. Oh, by the way, Raintree, I forgot to tell you, old man Simpson won't be buying any cows this month. Because as I understand it, a very, very kind-hearted young fellow just gave him some this morning at a much better price. <laughs> I'll be seeing you, pal. Come on. All right, come on. Let's go. Always making with those jokes, ain't you? Oh, what's your plan? Here we go. Trust your heart to help you decide. Do it with passion. Seek, what have you done? I'm sorry, I. Yeah. <sighs> Are you mad at me? Oh, Zeke, leave me alone. Wait, I just want to be alone.
I'm sorry, Claude. I'm so ashamed of myself, Claude Ranger. You should have slapped me in the face. Sure was interested in my toys. <laughs> Strange kind of fella. It's gonna come back on Sunday. How long do you think you'll keep little Zeke? Oh, I'd sure like to keep him forever and ever. Yeah. He's such a cute little fella. I wish he were ours. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I forgot. C come on. the horse. All right. Hey, you got it? That's it? I think so, Jefferson. Good. Oh, you, you, you. oh what, you, you, what's happening? I, I, I dropped it, I think. I, oh, yeah? That's what I did, Jefferson. Oh. Uh, son of a gun. Uh, what do you think, Jefferson? How do you know, Fester? Maybe we just better do it again tomorrow. Well, are you okay? Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, everything seems to be here. How about you? The only thing that I'm missing is my speed. That's not the only thing you're missing. Listen, before my trick knee went out... Oh, you trick knee, you trick knee. I'm getting darn sick and tired of hearing about your trick knee. I've done some pretty good things in my youth, too. I never finished telling you about the time when Wilbur and Orville and I put that airplane together, did I? No, nope, but if you got him in, I sure would like to hear. All right. Oh, wait, and then maybe, Jefferson, I could tell you about one of my good times, which just might outdo one of your good times. You're snide, McLong. I'm Fester. Huh? Been, girl. She's probably been horsing around out there in the field. <laughs> Don't say that about my daughter. I told Claude I'd wait for him. Well, then wait, you'll have to do. Now get back up on that horse because we're going home. Yes, Father, but can't I kiss him goodnight? No, not on your life, you can't. He said he'd wait, he's going to have to wait. Now get back out upon that horse. You tell her, Jefferson. Boy, it sure should sound good to hear a daddy tell, tell his youngins how to act. Yeah, you said it. <laughs> you did? <laughs> hey, look at I'll see you in the morning, and we'll put this story together. Yes, sir, Reed Jefferson. We sure will do that. OK. Oh, easy, easy. <laughs> I love you, Claude. Oh, hush up, girl. You got lots of time for that after the bum marries you. What you doing, Zeke? Nothing. Get it fixed? You yelled at me, and you don't want me around anymore. Well, I, I was upset. Grown-ups sometimes do that, see? They, they sometimes say things they don't really mean. You want to talk about it? No. Okay. You wanted me to leave you alone, and you haven't said you've changed your mind. I'm sorry, Z. I'm sorry I raised my voice to you. Forgive me? You mean that? I mean it. Okay, Daddy. Daddy? 
You said I could pretend, didn't you? <laughs> so did. <laughs> You know something? What? Sounds kind of nice. Let's see if we can fix this. on this end. Well, I know. And there's big numbers on this end. And it... Uh, <laughs> I 
the most exasperating person I ever met. Huh? Now that's a one-syllable conversation. Give me the hammer. I want to hammer this big nail in over here. Come on, let me have the hammer, please. Oh. What's that? What's what? That. Oh, that? That's my new television tuning device. How does it work? Come on, see? I'll show you. Turn this on, turn that on, turn that on. And watch. This is the final straw, Billy. This does it. What's happening, sir? How, how come you stopped the car? What happened? What are you talking about? Who? Lord Raintree, you idiot. Oh, yes. When are we going after? As soon as the car starts running again. Oh, hi, Millie. We're watching it. The roller skate on the TV. What's this? That's my brand new doodad. What does it do? I ain't quite sure, but it works. Yep, Jefferson. Yeah, you're right. We missed it by at least three or four feet. You know what? What? It was my fault. I measured wrong, Jefferson. Hester, you're a big man for admitting the mistake. <laughs> I told you I wasn't wrong. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> hey, Hester. Huh? Yeah. Who's that old wrong dude that's spying on us from way out yonder? Does he have a blue suit on? Yeah. Then it's that strange fella. Strange fella? Charlie Strange. Oh, Charlie Strange. Jefferson. What? Do you know what would be a good idea? I know it would be your idea of a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> that maybe we go over and scare the pants off of him, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's right in. <laughs> You put that thing away before you kill somebody. But I... No buts. I said put it away. We came here to arrest him, not to kill him. Now, you go that way, and I'll go... No. You go this way, and I be... You better stay with me. Can't I shoot it just one more time? Put it away. Oh, I'll never have a chance to have any fun at all. How come you always get to make the decision? Because I am the sheriff, and I make sheriff decisions. And you are a deputy, and deputies never make decisions. Never! Do you understand? No, but... What'd you say? I said... Let's go get it! Got uniform again.
Because... Because I'm pooped. <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh, yes, he's pooped. <laughs> we done pooped the young pup, huh? They sure don't make him like they used to, Jefferson. No, they don't. You know something? Before man tricked me... Never mind the trick me. I still don't trust this dude. Me neither, Jefferson. I'll, I'll do whatever you want me to. You bet you will. Yeah, we're gonna turn you in, mister. You come on with us. We're taking you to Mr. Claude. My name is Charlie Strange. I'm from WBH Toys, and I'd like to talk to you. What about? Well, I have a... Mr. Claude, uh, we caught him snooping. That's right, Claude. Tony and I here, we caught this big fat sneak. <laughs> what was you looking for, Mr. Strange? Well, as I said, I uh, want you to design toys for us. And we... could we go somewhere we could talk in private? Sure. Come on into my office. Excuse us. Idiot. <laughs> we... Uh, sit down, Mr. Strange. Ah. Mr. Raintree, what do you want most in life? Do you mean for me personally or for the whole world? No, no, for you personally. I guess I want to marry up with Millie. She's my girl. And uh, maybe have some kids and own my own land. What about fame and security? With money, you could travel, buy whatever you wanted. Uh, that's not too important to me, I guess. Well, it should be. A man with your talent should have wealth and position. What are you leading up to, Mr. Strange? Well, uh, Claude, I've been watching, uh, our company has been watching you, and we think your toys are fantastic, the best in the whole world, and we'd like you to design toys for us. Oh, now, you gotta be joshing. I never make two of the same thing, and most of them don't work. We'll make it well worth your while. <laughs> I don't know what... Oh, think of the money. Could I think on it a while? Well, I suppose so, but I'd... we'd like to know as soon as possible. Sure. Excuse me. Guys, now listen up. Well, I don't want any here we are again, Mr. Raintree. You think you're up to it? Well, as always, Sister Mary, it's a day I look forward to. Well, how's little Zeke? He's fine. Sure has been a big help to me the last few days. Oh, really? And I don't want any of you to force me to enforce any pressure on you. And another thing... Okay, come and get it, kids. Butkus. <laughs> Must have been Butkus. Yes, ma'am. If I ever have a son, I want one just like him. Oh. God! God, little Zeke, he's gone. Gone? What do you mean? I looked everywhere and he's gone. When? How long ago? Well, I don't know. He was right next to me, and the next thing I knew, he was gone. Yeah, he's probably hiding, so he won't have to go back to the orphanage with us. Don't worry, Sister Mary. I'll find him. He couldn't have got too far. I'll call the sheriff. Maybe he can help us. But what about the other children, Mr. Raintree? You just go ahead and pass out the toys, and I'll get back as soon as I can and show them how they work. Oh, do you know how they work? I'll get back just as soon as I can. That's what I figured. <laughs> you know who that was? No, I don't. Who are you? The Lone Rain Tree. <laughs> Uh, 
Jefferson, what do you think? Well, I don't think it looks sturdy enough, Fester, but uh, probably keep out to early morning dew. Come on, let's pick her up and try to fit her in here. Let's see if we can give her uh, one good you. Uh, 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 this is too heavy, can't move it. Uh, hey, I got an idea. Uh, you give me a little slack on the rope. I'll put the winch on her and we'll pull her up with the winch. There we go. All right, give me a little more slack now. Hey, boy, keep coming. Keep coming. A little bit more. Hey, boy, Fester. Just a touch more. There we go. Okay, I'll come around here and I'll help you with it. Here, let me get a hold of it. <laughs> oh, All right, let's pull it now. One, two, pull. <laughs> What is it, Hortense? I'm busy. Doing what? Sheriff in business. That's what. What else would I be doing? Sleeping, that's what. <laughs> She's tough, baby. I can dig her. <laughs> what do you want, Hortense? I forgot. You gotta get out to Claude Raintree's farm right away. I ain't going back out there. But you gotta, Sheriff. Uh, uh, now, look, Hortense, you see, what I got to do is escort this hippie to the county line. That's the least I can do uh, since I've arrested him for nothing. But that little boy, Chef, you gotta go. I ain't going, Hortense, and that's final, and I'll send another car. What other car? You're in the only car we have. Oh, <laughs> all right, Hortense, all right. I'm on my way. Hey, far out. I can dig seeing him again. He's a good head. Zeke, you don't have to be afraid, son. I understand. Zeke, are you out here? No. Come on out, Zeke. Come on. That wasn't very nice of you to run off like that. You want Sister Mary to think I didn't treat you nice? No, but I don't want to go back to the orphanage. Maybe you won't have to. But I don't want... What'd you say? Well, I've been thinking, what with Fester is so busy and all, and all that work to do, I, I sure could use another hand to help me. Would you be interested? 
Yes, sir. You have to promise never to run away again. Oh, not ever. I love you, Mr. Claude. I love you. You know something, Zeke? I love you, too. this out. Mr. Strange, what is it exactly you want me to do? We want you to design toys for us. Now, there'll be the usual advance, of course, and we'll supply you with whatever you want or need. What do you want or need? What do you mean by an advance? Uh, 25,000 to start. 25,000. Dollars? 50. 25,000 dollars. Then, of course, uh, we'll put you on salary with a bonus, an expense account, a secretary, office equipment. $25,000. That's more than enough to pay for my mortgage. And orphanages, too. Yes, we'll take care of that. Uh, could I work right here? You can work in London, New York, Tahiti, any place you want to. <laughs> you sure make it sound good, Mr. Strange. Hope it turns out that way. Oh, it will. Welcome to WBH Toys. From now on, everything you create will bear the WBH trademark. Instead of making just a few children happy, you'll make millions of them happy. Uh, you won't forget about that other little thing, now, will you? Oh, the trust fund? Oh, no, sir. From now on, 10% of your salary will go to the Clover Grove orphanages, 15% to orphanages all over the state, and just to show you that my heart's in the right place, there will be similar funds set up for orphanages all over America. Now, I've got a lot to do tomorrow, so I'll just be running along. So soon? I haven't shown you my special night skylighter yet. Oh, I'll see everything that you make. Now, in spite of what appears to be a sour countenance, I love to see children laugh. <laughs> now, I'll just be running along. Bye. Uh, that's my what you call it. What's it do? I don't know. Hey, man, that is 
the gas. Where's Claude Raintree? I think I'll break every bone in his head. Look at all them kids. Look at all them toys. <laughs> Follow me. Let's take a closer look. May I have a word with you? Sure, Sister Mary. Zeke, why don't you go outside and play with the others while I have a word with Mr. Aintree? Yes, Sister Mary. Uh, would you like to sit down? Uh, no, 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 thank you. I, I have something very important I want to ask you. I wonder if you would consider... Well, uh, Sister Mary, what would I have to do to keep little Zeke with me forever? Why don't you adopt him? Yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to adopt him. Oh, that's wonderful. Of course, there's one... Small problem. Hey, is it, can I help you, Miss Millie? Oh, no, thank you, Sheriff. Claude will be out in just a minute. Uh, he will? Yeah. Oh, by the way, the little boy, he's been found. Well, doggone it, I'm right glad to hear that. I'm so glad that they found him. <laughs> Where is Claude? Oh, well, he's in the barn. Um, he's getting ready to show everybody his newest invention. When? Right away. I'll see you later, Miss Millie. Well, Sheriff, don't you want to see Claude's newest creation? Billy, come on, that idiot. Go come out here and blow everybody up. Just get out of here. Billy! Hey, little Missy, do me a favor, will you? To give this peace medal to your friend Claude. Would you like me to get him for you? No, you don't have to bother doing that. You see, I got a split. I just want you to tell him thanks. <laughs> you know, I've been kicking around for about three years trying to find some happiness, honesty. Well, I finally came to find it. Right here, with your friend Claude. And I think I'm gonna go out and try to find some of my own. You just tell him his head is on straight. You gotta keep it that way, huh? What's that? A piece of metal. Well, I know it's a piece of metal, but what is it? Oh, that hippie-looking fellow out there? He gave it to me to give to you, and he said, thanks, uh, that your head was on straight, and that he had to split. Huh. Split what? I don't know. Millie, uh... You still want to marry up with me? Well, of course, Claude. Why? Can we do it right away? Did you say what I thought I heard? Oh, I think I thought what you said. I thought I heard. Or did I, I think I just oh, God, I love you! Love you! Love you. Oh. Joining up with the little league? Huh? Ah, ah. Oh, yeah. Listen, Jefferson. Before my trick me went out, I was known as Lightning Fester McClung. Well, you I could run anywhere. You stopped crackling a long time ago, Lightning. But you tricked me with you. Yeah. You two do this all by yourself? Yep. <laughs> sure did, didn't we, Fester? <laughs> you sure did, Mr. Chip. <laughs> Jefferson and I built it ourselves, and we put it up, too. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, take your arm off and hurry, you young whippersnapper before I'm forced to do something that I might be sorry for. It's all right, Father. We're getting married. Oh. <laughs> Good thing that I didn't 
punch him first and ask questions afterwards. <laughs> Is this thing safe? Why, sure it's safe. Go ahead, try it. All right. You all right, Chad? Someday I'm gonna kill that man! Hey, Chad, you wanna stick around? I'm gonna show my latest invention. No, thank you, Ryan Tree. You're not gonna kill me with any more of your crazy stunts. But I'll see you tomorrow, and don't forget your mortgage payment. <laughs> well, I'll be ready, Chad. In fact, both Sister Mary and I will both be ready and waiting the first thing in the morning. You have a nice evening now, Chet. <laughs> I wonder why he seems so happy. Jefferson? Yeah. Did you see the look on his face when the door came down on him? Yeah, sure did. <laughs> hey, what do you think, Millie? Ready to show the kids my latest invention? A new instant rainbow maker. Come on. Jefferson? Yeah. How about a nip from the old bottle? You better not let that trick knee of yours hold you up or I'll walk right over you. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Y'all having a good time? Yeah! Want to see some more? Yeah! Want to go home and go take a nap? Yeah! I, I was going to show you my special night skylighter, but Sister Mary pointed out that you couldn't see it during the daytime. So instead of that, I'm going to show you my brand new invention that I just finished today. This is called an instant rainbow maker. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on. Want to hold that, Nelly? And when I press this button, you're gonna see an instant rainbow that's gonna cover the whole sky. So you just look straight up there, okay? Wanna see it? Yeah! Okay. <laughs> you know something? This is pretty good stuff. Sure is, Jefferson. I made it myself. Who turned the lights out? Did they catch us already? Thank you for everything. Oh, hurry, children, let's all get in the truck before the sheriff gets in and busts Mr. Raintree. Fester. <laughs> Fester, what's the matter? What's the matter, Fester? Why are you crying? Because my barn door fell down. Oh. <laughs> Don't be a crybaby. <laughs> my barn door fell down. I know, I know, but we can put it back up tomorrow. There's nothing to worry about. <laughs> Come on, Al, hurry up. Hurry up, let's go. Bye. And you be a good boy now, you hear? Okay? Jefferson. Wait. I wonder what the sheriff would say about us drinking. Well, what are you worried about? You're as old as your fingers and your toes put together, ain't you? Yep. 27. Never seen him with his shoes off. Maybe he's right. <laughs> See the sun come up, the rooster crows waking my pup, the cows and pigs wait to be fed, I must get up and get out of bed, but my heart feels empty with my girl on my mind, oh my heart feels empty catching her. Make the toys for girls and boys. I hear the laughter, that's what I'm after. I make the toys for girls and boys. I hear the laughter, that's what I'm after. I make the widgets, gadgets, do dance all day long. And 
the shades of magic rise Broken dreams and little lies Truth be told, my toys are my thirst I wish I had the courage to put her first So I make the toys for girls and boys I hear the laughter, that's what I'm after I make the toys for girls and boys I hear the laughter, that's what I'm after I make the toys for girls and boys I hear the laughter, that's what I'm after I make the widgets, gadgets, doodads all day long I can make her happy, I know that I can Catching smiles of her in my open hand Drenching my heart with magic sand I can make her happy, I know that I can So I make the toys for girls and boys I hear the laughter, that's what I'm after I make the toys I made for girls and boys I make the toys I make